now I'm, going, I'm just going to go through my own video. Repre you can find it on YouTube, representing pasts W Pollard from Amps. This is if, if you've just started listening. Uh, Amps are doing a conference next next week. The full title is um, Imagining Futures as well as Representing Pasts, but there's not space for that on the YouTube titles. So I just to. Uh, I think now it's public. I can I can explain it a bit. It's about it's, it's uh, 17 minutes. I was aiming at quarter of an hour, but it ended up 17 minutes. So there's quite a lot in there. Um, it's using stuff which already exists. So the first third of it is the same as the previous one that I did. Um, what happened during the during the lockdown? I became interested in working from home radio technology or sound technology how that was developing and thought funding might be possible to explore a mobile radio studio but that that never never happened but the ideas became uh, something I just sort of put about in various directions and uh, amps were happy for it to be a, a video they, they do accept video as part of their conferences. So I, I, I start out, there's a, there's a previous speaker who has a slide, we design scenarios, not objects. And I, I take that f very signif significant thing coming from architects, because it ties in with the drama. And then I'm just going to go through it fairly quickly. The, fir the first part of it is um, from online conversations I had with JD and Chris so it's basically the wild the wild show continuing online and in this no uh, I can't can't go back to it you will see a mixer in the background JD has a has an illustration of a it's not exactly portable but it's very similar to the one access all aerials use and I'm just trying to scroll through it uh, we, we also turn up in uh, South Street and now the first section that I've borrowed um, is from Doreen Massey, Doreen Massey on Space. Social Science Bites is a, is a podcast and they have sections on YouTube. I've taken a very short clip and I think this is OK. Going back to earlier on, the, the, the remix that is available on TikTok, I'm not sure how far it exists on YouTube. But I, I think this is OK. Um, Dory Massey talk, talks about... Uh, well, actually, she, do, she doesn't use space in as precise a way as later people do to distinguish space from place as something that's recognised socially. But I think it's very relevant trying to make out that um, we're looking at stages... So if we, if we do invest in technology for sound or broadcast or video as well, to some extent, uh, it's, make, it's making uh, places better, better known or better recognised. So I think that's where the mediated city ideas come in. That's about five minutes in, that's that section. And then uh, there's, a, there's a, a, a short clip from the climate action hub in Exeter because that that has actually worked getting broadcast equipment well one camera there and very close to the access all aerials radio studio which is uh, the most effective example so far of putting uh, the equivalent of a studio uh, in into a, into a city. Well, it is. It's um, that, that that was a, a proper studio, and it may re may return there. Uh, but it's also highly mobile, and uh, the equipment was laptops, some some genuine screen, proper screens, some keyboards. Uh, but it could have been phones. The mi the mixer is quite a chunky device. Uh, and you can see you can see that the equipment about 754 in in there uh, and then then there's a section about um, nomads and artisans I'll, I'll, I will say a bit bit more about this this is about nine minutes in 
this came up by chance because there was a previous AMPS uh, conference not very long ago about design pedagogy and they seem they seem to swap between design and pedagogy quite quite frequently as if they're separate streams but I think they I think they're very related um, and by, by chance this article about nomads and artisans turned up it's from quite a long time ago way before the lockdown but uh, there's various sites that seem to be allowed to re redistribute uh, they're not they're not from long ago but they're they're not the latest journals and one one of these turned up and e emailed me about it and I think it does explain what was what was what was going on in that um, let's say normally uh, radio presenters or studio people live in studios and exist as artisans there's there's supervision or there's advice available so and there's very solid equipment so that that style as they describe it mostly architecture students um, does exist whereas the the um, nomad style which in in the case of Aalborg University was and is I guess um, digital communication students so slightly different different sort of course anyway um, they were thought to be m much more uh, mobile prepared to, to, to put put some um, casual scenes together in cafes rather than depending on a studio with uh, reference resources and better supervision um, but that's that's all that was available working working from home so there was a lot of there was a lot of broadcasting with the learning in nomad mode rather than artisan mode and that changed but maybe it hasn't changed completely um, meanwhile the, the the people who wrote the article have pointed out there's a there's, there's an update to it and there's another one coming which is based on architecture students I think the, the, but given that um, amps are concerned about the mediated city that might fit in anyway uh, so we'll I'll try I'll try and find out some more and it's not it's not going completely off of topic not yet anyway so this is going on you know there's more more about that it takes out quite a large chunk of it now uh, and then we come on to student accommodation there's there's um, a picture about uh, 13 and a half minutes in of the proposed student accommodation opposite St Luke's and this this is it might be an extra thing but I think in the UK there's lots of lots of similar situations so that um, this is this is one of the topics that comes up if, if we're looking at how learning might happen in the city or where the, where the campus is or how all these things fit together I think the question of uh, how much student accommodation is actually needed if learning moves online that's that's going to keep keep coming up uh, and then there's there's a couple of sections on edX acquiring sorry to you acqu acquiring edX which was in July 2021 and what has happened since because um, this is now the second video I've, I've sent to an AMPS conference so one of them was in the middle of the lockdown and this one is let's say the lockdown's more or less over um, but it is, it is very strange what's happened to the MOOC scene or investment in online from a learning point of view um, so what, the, what sense the universities make of it uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure so edX was was a project from Harvard and MRT and it was sold to two you for eight, I think I've got this right 800 million dollars uh, but that was in July 21 when you'd say the lockdown 
was most strong or around about that time in in terms of suggestion that most people would be working from home or Disney was absolutely right to spend loads of money on content. Uh, various Various ideas were very strong at that time. And now, to you, and also Coursera, which is another MOOC platform, they're not they're not valued at, at, um, at very much. Certainly, to you is not valued as much um, as they paid for uh, edX. So, I I don't think I'm going off topic at this point. I think architects especially architects who are interested in media and also academics should should be interested in in those valuations and what sort of investment they're making in buildings and what sort of investment they're making in um, technology that's either dis distribution technology platforms or production uh, studios so I, th I think that the difference with this one about place as stage as a headline rather than just designing scenarios is that the, the 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 city locations are sets but they're also uh production production facilities and um that's going to relate to the city and the campus where, wherever that is in some cases the the, the campus is uh part of part of the city still and that 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 exists to various extents. So there are so there are dates in here about uh, when when the when the when the edX acquisition was done, and um, a stock stock market chart there as well. And then there's um, a, a little bit about the walk, the CD walk that we've been talking about a lot. This this started with um, again with with Chris and and JD uh, John as well interested. Um, MVC comes up about sixteen minutes in. So the basis of this is is walk, walking about Exeter, looking at where the retail used to be for music, and asking the question: How much space is going to be needed for education and learning in the future? Um, I'm not saying that's going to follow us an exactly similar pattern and we're not really in agreement what we can remember as to what the pattern with music was anyway but that's that's the basis of the the latter part of it and I think that's the yeah that's that's pretty that's pretty much the la the, the, la the last part of it uh so have a have a look and have a look at the other ones. If you find representing pasts amps, by next week I'll have looked at some of the other ones. The mo most of the video presentations are there, and I think through Twitter, quite a lot about the other presentations will will become available later. Any anyway.